This tutorial will explain how to use My Talking Avatar with your students. Before sending your students to create their avatar, I suggest you clearly explain the intention of the activity so they'll focus on what's important. Does the avatar have to look like them? Or could it look any way? You'll also need to set a time limit or they could stay in the app forever. When you open it up, you'll see the avatars that were already created and plus signs. Click on one of the plus signs and I'll choose female. The way it's organized is that you choose what you want to modify at the top and the options to modify it are at the bottom. The waffle shape on the right is to open or close the options at the bottom. If we look at the top, what can be changed are the eyes, the mouth, the shape of the body, the hair, uh, there's clothes and there's also a mask option, but the mask option is a, for the paid version. We just suggest that you use the free version, which has enough. And uh, if you want to go beyond and pay for the paid version, well, you would get access to that, but free it gets you enough. So let's go back to the first one, which is the skin color. So you can change the color of the skin. You can change also, if you look at the eye option at the bottom, there's of course the shape of the eye, the color of the eyes and the size of the eyes. So there's a few things that you can change. In the mouth option, what is different is that you have the nose option also. Okay, so once you've made a few changes, click on the camera at, on the right, and the camera will bring you to the recording screen. At the top, you see the three options for your background. The one on the left is for taking a picture of what's in the back of the iPad. The one in the middle is where it opens up to your photo library so you can select the one that you want to use. Now the one on the right is because you can select a background that's already in the app. So once you select something, you see that there's a check mark at the top right. Well, you click on it and it means that you selected the option. At the bottom of the screen, you see there's a an animation you can click to animate your avatar i like my avatar to clap the text option well of course you can type any text i select it okay and i can change it and move it and and uh, ch change uh, the way it looks the color and the shape again my text is okay so i click on the check mark i can also add some sound I can also, if you look at the mouth of the avatar, deselect the option so that it, it won't move. Or if you reselect it, it moves when it hears a voice. Uh, at the right, you can change the length of the video. Once you're ready, you can record your voice. Uh, I am pressing down the red button, but also I have to keep my finger on it. So this is a wonderful test. Great. I like what I did, but if I don't like what I did, I can redo it again. So I would repress on the red button and it would record over what was already done. I can also change again a few options. Once I'm done and I'm happy with what I did, I can click on so, done. This is a wonderful test. Great. Okay. This is what it sounded like and it looked like. I save the video to my photo library. When you're ready, you can go and uh, to your photo library and it will be, appear there. So this is where I, I am and I can now share with whoever I want to share.